Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Hi, my name is Ash and I'm a 17-year-old boat board and sailor based in Norfolk. I'm currently on a mission to restore this 1922 sailing barge called Growler. So our plan for the next few days is to remove the stern horse. Now this is called the deconstruction phase. Essentially, we've got to take a lot of parts off Growler before we can start putting new wood in and new parts. So the first thing we're going to remove is the horse. The horse is also known as the traveller and is used, if you think about when you, when you tack a boat, the main sheet blocks slide from one side to the other and that is what um, these blocks run on. Removing the horse is going to be quite a tricky thing to do because she probably hasn't been removed since the boat was built in 1922 and the nuts are incredibly rusty. Always gone too long any time she goes away Wonder this time where she's gone Wonder if she's gone to stay Sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home any time In order to remove the stone horse, we've got to access the nuts that are behind me under the aft deck. Over the last 30 years, these nuts have become rusty, which makes them very hard to get off. We've applied some WD-40, and we hope this will lubricate the nuts, which make them easy to get off. We've also manufactured this craft a little bit here. Uh, by attaching a r rather large wrench to a scaffold pole and we're thinking the amount of extra leverage we can get from the scaffold pole will make it easier to remove. We've actually made a surprising amount of progress. The nut on the starboard side of the boat came out very easily. The scaffold pole worked really well and the wrench you know, it gripped really nicely. We then made a start um, on, the, on the port side one and we had a few more problems with that. We've, we've been losing the light for quite a lot which makes it quite hard to see what we're doing. But also the, someone else has tried to take it out before us and the timber has split. Um, I think it's partly because the, the, the nuts are, and the bolt are a lot more rusty than the other one. So what we've done is we put a lot of WD-40 on it, we're going to leave it overnight, we're going to come back in the morning and see if we can do a little bit better. She goes away.